What is up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Nicole Young, and I am back with another video. In today's video, I am going to be talking about some of the top specializations that you can get into as you learn and develop your skills as a coder. Now, there are a ton of specializations and branches of coding and tech out there. So I couldn't make a video about every single one of them. In this video, I'm going to primarily focus on the ones that have been extremely popular as of lately, especially ones that are available to you via boot camps and online courses and classes. So for those of us who are non-traditional learners, these are definitely ones that are widely accessible and available to us. And before I get into today's video, I just wanted to say thank you to Brandy. Brandy actually requested this topic and I think it's a great video idea. So I'm really glad to be putting it out for you all and shout out to you Brandy for requesting it. All right, let's get started. So the first is web development. I think that this is by far the most common one out there because a lot of you know the 12 week coding boot camps and things like that are ones that focus on web development. And with this, you would be designing and creating websites making sure that they are running properly, making sure you can integrate certain features into these websites. And of course, making sure that they look awesome so that people want to interact with them. This is definitely one that can be really lucrative and one that's really good to get into when you're first getting started because there's, I feel like, low barrier to entry. The next is mobile development, very similar to web development. You are building applications for mobile devices. This can be a little more involved and can take a little bit more because you are developing for devices that vary in size a little more drastically than what you would be doing for web design and things like desktops and laptops. Mobile developers are becoming more popular and more needed because our world is slowly shifting to becoming more mobile. People are consuming more content on their phones and on their iPads more so than they are on their stationary devices. So that's really growing. That's only going to continue to get bigger. So the next thing is a software engineer and <laughs> when I was first getting into coding, I think I was using web development and software engineering in interchangeably, but they couldn't be more different. So as a software engineer, you are developing applications and programs and actual software. Um, you are helping to program actual computers. Um, so it's a little bit more involved, definitely more involved than what a web designer would be doing, but definitely a position that you can get into through coding boot camps or things like that. Next is design. And design is also one that's really growing rapidly because people are realizing that if you don't have beautifully designed websites and online products and applications, then people aren't going to want to use them. So the two biggest avenues that you can take within design are UX and UI design. UX stands for user experience design and UI stands for user interface design. User experience design is making sure that a website or application or program is optimized to create the best experience for a customer or user as possible. User interface design is the person that is putting the pretty packaging on the actual product, the application or website or whatever. So the next is data science. And this is one that is 100% booming right now. And it's growing and it's becoming huge. So I'm not even going to pretend like I know exactly all of the things that a data scientist does. What I do know is that data scientists are the ones that are responsible for all of the huge advances that we have been having over the last decade or so. So the artificial intelligence that you see used in our cell phones and websites, the algorithms in your social media platforms, all of those things are things that data scientists have developed and come up with. So data science is actually a more high level term. It's an umbrella term that encompasses a lot of different processes that are really pushing the limits 
and trying to find solutions to problems that haven't even been figured out yet. As a data scientist, you could be doing any number of things from working within computer science or doing predictive analysis, um, you know, really working through large data sets, working with machines um, on machine learning, computer vision, artificial intelligence, those types of things are the things that data scientists get into. It is super involved, I guess. And like I said, I don't completely understand it, but it is a world that I am seeking to understand by reading up on it and keeping up with it because data science is the future. It is quite literally the area of tech that is leading the rest of the pack. You are going to be a leader in where technology takes us next as a society. And I think that's pretty cool. So that's definitely why I am super interested in it and trying to find ways that I can get more into it. It's a lot, but it's the future, so. The last thing is something that is actually within data science, definitely a branch of it. And the next is a branch of data science and that is data analytics. And basically as a data analyst, you would be running tests on data sets to find very specific problems. Um, a lot of people that I know that are data analysts or the one, the examples that I've seen are people who are working within companies or businesses and helping to run data to make predictions, to help to answer questions and help businesses make better decisions for the future. This is definitely something that's really important and really needed and pretty practical and something that you can get into pretty quickly as well. And that is the list that I have for you. If you are in a field that you got into or if you're in, interested in a field that I haven't covered, make sure you leave that in the comments below. And you know, maybe there's other ones out there that could help other people in the research that they're doing and trying to find a career path that is right for them. Otherwise, you guys know the deal. Make sure you are subscribed, hit the notification bell, and like this video, it really helps me out. But until next time, guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.